Okay, Martin, we can get started now. Do you want to start sharing? Sure, um, yeah, I'll start. Um, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah, I uh, apologize for last week. Uh, my internet was down and um, it was a very freak, uh, like a hardware problem related to the to, to Verizon and uh, but anyway, uh, I've had that modem for like three years and it's never done that before. Um, but uh, tech was immediately was saying like, try this one and, um, but uh, okay. So, um, so la last time we did uh, problem one, so, and then some part of problem two. So um, we'll just go more into problem two uh, today and then, um, also, also problem three, a uh, question three. So the, the problem two is made. So this is a bit of a recap. We've already um, looked at this. So in, in part A, um, we are, we, we load an image that is the smiley face or this, um, um, the, the picture. And then uh, we divide it into a, a, a train data and a test data. So uh, let me go through the, um, Question here. I can close these guys off. And um, I think this is the one. Yep. So if if we if, if I just run this. Okay, this is not running the right one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so this is a, a training data and this is uh, this is the training data and this is the test data. This is the, uh, the, the true distribution. This is the actual image. And this is the, the learned one, a reconstructed one. So the way that the training data comes in um, here is the, um, the function that we're supposed to implement, um, Q2A. It has a training data and a test data that comes in. So um, let me go here and do this. And um, if we see here, I don't know if it's too small, but we can see the, um, train data and test data is uh, 2000 by two and 8000 by two. So we have um, 8000 points for the training data. And this two means that uh, each one is um, here. I can, um, each data point is X, Y position. So this is a 25 by 25, I believe. Yep, 25 by 25 image. And each one is some number. So, um, so this would say count 14 by 12, 14 at 12 as one, and then uh, you add zero 12 to one. So this gives the distribution. Um, so th th does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so this is just, uh, if we take all the data and then accumulate the histogram and divide by the sum, then we get this training data. Um, and then the same with the test data. And this is all done from the actual image here, this one, where they do take random, um, uh, random samplings, depending on the intensity. This is, um, yeah, this is actually grayscale, I believe, but if I, if I change it to grayscale, it like you can barely see it, the, the color contrast is not good. So, um, but this is just one channel, even though it has like multiple colors. Um, it's, it's basically grayscale. Um, so can, um, somewhere in here, I can do that. Yeah, and anyway, it, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, what is the, I forgot how, it, how to do grayscale, but uh, just add it here. I'm so grayscale. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I did it. I forgot to put it back in there. Um, but um, 
just, uh, but this is grayscale. And then we have two points in each one uh, depicts the intensity. And this is the training and the test data. So, so what, what we have to do here, um, so before we go here, um, I printed out the model here. And then if we look at the console, uh, this is what the, the, the model is. Um, so mask linear, um, it is just, uh, it's just a linear, um, linear neur neural network. So I can go over there. Um, and um, here, here's the construction of it. And this is the mask linear. And the mask linear is just, it's just a subclass of linear, except um, you send in a mask um, somewhere. Um, yep, set mask. And then when you forward it, it will not do, um, uh, it, it will uh, multiply the weight by the mask. And so it will zero out some of the weights. Uh, so it's usually the linear would not have this part. It would just uh, take the weight and the bias, right? So um, yeah, okay. So it it takes in 50, um, 50 in features, outputs 100, uh, then goes to 100 by 100, and then goes to 100, and then goes back to 50. Um, notice that uh, this is 50. So, but our input is is two. So we we only have um, x and x and y. Um, so what what is what is what is done is something uh, is is a, a one hot encoding, but um, it's like a double one in 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 one hot encoding. So as we can see here, if we look at the forward here. Um, So this is the forward part, so I can um, get to that part. All right, let's continue on. Uh, no, that didn't work. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Oh, it's because of uh, this thing is my own thing. Okay. Um, it, it should be here, sorry. I was trying something else out. And, um, stuck there. Okay, um, so if we if we look at forward, the data that, that we get is 128 by two. Um, 128 because it's our batch size, right? So uh, if, we, if we look at the um, code, the batch size is 128. And so we get 128 by two. And so, um, and then if, if one hot input, which is true in our case, uh, again, if I go back, we set the one, one hot encoding equals true somewhere. One hot input is true. Um, and so, um, so the, First thing they do is turn X into, um, instead of a 128 by two, a conti contiguous 256 vector, and then they do a one hot. And then it's 256 by 25. And then, um, so one, one hot encoding, um, what it will do is it will, uh, since we have 25 different levels, it will make 25 spaces. And then if it's one, it will, set that value to one. So here we can see if we look at some of the data. So it's all zeros here except um, one value here. So this is, uh, yeah, this is a tensor. Um, so if, if I do, um, um, do CPU detach, NumPy, um, then we I, I can see it in NumPy version. So, um, so you can see oh, you can see it's only one at one place. But what what we need is um, what we need is um, sort of double one hot encoding. So um, so the size is changed back um, because we want the one hot encoding for the x part and the y part, and then 
make it into a, a, a 50 uh, a size size of length 50. So each of the two dimensions are made in, uh, as like a 25 um, size. And then therefore they're each split into zero to 24 and then one hot encoded for each of the two dimensions. Yep, yep. And, the, and since our, our um, input is 50, it has to, we have to give it 50. So we put it back together. So it's kind of one hit, one hot, but in both X and Y. So there's two ones in, in the data, input data. Uh, maybe this would make... Um, so there's are 25 levels, hence and two, and since there is X and Y, that's why the input is 50? Yep. Yeah, so here I can show you. So th this one, the the view of the changing the view turns it into a 128 by 50. But here I have to redo this again. Um, and if we look at the the value here, there are two places where it's one. Right? There's two places. So this is for the x part, and this is for the y part. So it's like a double one hot encoding. I think it's same here on the other ones. There's one and there's two of them. Okay. Um, and then, so this is now run through itself. So self.net just means it will run through uh, this this um, net. This, the, the net is the neural network. So we'll go through the 50, output 100, um, go into the mask linear and output another 50 back out. So the output would have, um, again, as we'd expect, it's 128 by 50, right? Because it's the, um, it's, it's, it's the same, um, th the size is 50 here for the out features. And 128 is our, our number, number of samples. Okay, so the 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 main thing is here. So the 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 purpose of uh, the one of the main points I've made is that you you give it some number and it's supposed to output a distribution for it. So in our case, we give it um, x one and x two, and then we're we want to know the we want to know the sort of the distribution of, of it. So how, how do they encode the distribution here? So we have uh, 50 values here. So the output has 50 values. Like what does that mean in terms of uh, distribution? Um, so yeah, so so how, how do we interpret that as distribution? Because um, the actu our actual data, right? So actual, this, this data is 25 by 25. So there's 625 places that that we need to to find values for. Um, our, our distribution is has 625, but um, here our output is is 50. So how how does all of that map uh, map into? So um, and Oh um, yeah, and so that that is ex can be explained here in get distribution. But before we do that, so um, to to interpret it, uh, I think the loss function is um, in, interesting in in this way. Is uh, okay, so we're still in forward. We haven't finished it yet. So there's some permutation going on. Um, so which I'm not quite sure why it needs to be permuted. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then just a, a more shape is changed around, and then the the answer answer is returned, but the the data is still the same. Okay, and um, let me go into uh, loss. So when we do the loss, it's just basic cross entropy. Um, so X is our usual data here. Um, the um, sorry, uh, Mutin, on your comment about um permuting if you just go to that board 
Um, yeah, isn't it? Uh, or just before that, you see that uh, they give the legit um, dimensions, right? So it's um, self dot min which is number of inputs and then the self dot d uh, is it just the case that by permuting you get the self dot uh, because they're permuting two and one right so the batch size doesn't get changed but self dot d gets moved to um, or self dot min and self dot d gets swapped yep I and so I, it's the D dimension then that. Um, yep, I think it, it goes into the, the entropy that it must, that's probably why that it, it requires a certain format. Because um, that's, that's why I think it has to be um, uh, moved around. Um, because yeah, other, otherwise. Um, because by making the la last one the now n input, they then split the n input into the two because star self dot input shape would make it like go back to because we have flattened it in the n input right, whereas the input shape will re align it to the whatever 25 by 25 and you move the self dot d which is kind of the two uh, dimension into your first position as you see in the answer line okay. uh, yeah okay uh, it's, yeah so let's I can, can quickly um, so the answer one is uh, 128 by 25 by 2 and then the output is actually 128 by 50. And so the permuted uh, logits are actually the right shape, but I think they're not in the right place. Or, um, so that these two lines are a little bit confusing to me. So because the permuted logits are already the right shape to return. It's 128 by 25 by two, uh, but then they make it contiguous and then um, change the view of it. Um, and, it's, and it looks like the same value. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what, yeah, why this is, why they're doing it. Um, any, anyway, um, so for the, for the loss, um, yeah, for, for the cross loss, it's the cross entropy, right? So self dot X times X dot long. So X dot long will, um, will, will give us the, um, the, the, the values. Um, the two coordinate values and self dot x will have the one hot encoding of it, and um, and and we know the output is twenty twenty five by two, so this matches up with the uh, um, the two that one twenty eight by two, so it'll be one twenty eight uh, twenty five by two and then one twenty eight by two, so it can do the one hot encoding, and then so wherever it's um, it matches it it, it will. Um, it will set that to one. So like cross entropy, so it will encourage, um, and since this is summed over all the all the data, so it will encourage, if, if this 23, 22 occurs a lot, then it will encourage that one hot encoding of 23 and 22 to, 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 to be high. But of course, we also have to remember that this is conditional. So, um, In, in, in that the x1, x, x1 is dependent on x0. So, but just for the loss part, it's, it, what it does is it, it, the more you see a certain number, let's say 23 by 22 has high, um, high distribution, it will try and put more uh, probability to it so that the, 
um, the self dot x probability matches the x dot longs distribution, right? So I think that part is um, that 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 part makes um, a, a sense to me. Okay, um, and so that's I think that's all there. Uh, yeah, we already looked at the mask. Um, I don't know if you want to look at the masks again, but we already had had the discussion. We can quickly take a look at it. Uh, where was the mask? Create mask somewhere up here. Um, so. Um, masks. And this were the three masks because there's three layers. And so the first one is um, true on the top and then false on the bottom. So saying, uh, so here in the paper, so I can go to the paper. Um, so we just have X1 and X2 or just one and two, I guess. And um, So one can connect to one and one can connect to two, but two can only connect to two. In, in the Actually, lowest- Isn't it the case that in the first layer, one also cannot connect to one, if I recall, because I, I think uh, in it's this so case, of course, the picture shows three, but if we just have two, then um, one of those will be independent, either one or two, right? And if two is connected to something, then one shouldn't be connected to anything. I think they have slightly different. So this one, this last last one, one cannot connect to one. It can connect to higher ones, but it cannot connect to itself. But in the lowest ones and then the sub lower ones, it can connect it. I think that's they have this rule here um, where it's less than or equal, and then for the last one, output one only, then it has to be greater. Um, so that's th that's the equation that they give, and so that's yep. So. I mean, from yeah, from the representation of the masks, it's saying one will connect to ev everything on the next layer from uh, zero to fifty to ninety nine, and then two will two will not connect to anything. So it, it, maybe this is the bottom one, but. Uh, so here in this case, uh, it's going from um, 100, 100 to the 50. Um, So anything anything less than one will not connect to one itself, but um, two can connect to. I'm not uh, okay. I'm not confused now. Uh, yeah, and so the, th this middle one says it can connect to everything, so it's all true everywhere, um, which cause this makes sense because if we just have one and two and just one and two here everything can, can connect to everything. But if we just have one and two, um, it's saying that um, the first one, the, the first 25 will, can connect to everything in the 100. One can connect to everything here, but two cannot connect to anything. So one can connect to everything, but two cannot connect to anything. And then, um, here it's anything can connect to everything. And then in the third one, um, out, out of them, um, so all, all the ones with um, X1, the first 25. But 
Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure how the masks are actually, which layers are going to which ones. But, it's, but this is from the same idea, I guess. So, and I think we only have three layers. So, um, okay. I, hmm. Yeah, the principle is what you have in the diagram from the paper and it, we have one less layer, right? Because we're just going from input to hidden, well, actually hidden to hidden. Right? Yep. There's a hundred to hundred and then so we still have the same picture, but one less input. Yeah. Uh, so, but we have the 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 mask is in the layer itself, and so we multiply the weights by the mask. So that's um, so we can't think of it as the as, as the lines here. So the weights that we have here um, that are going out is going to be multiplied by the mask. Um, Yeah, the third one shouldn't have a mask, so um, not yeah, it's okay. But um, yeah, I, I'm I'm sure this follows the same idea, so we can. Um, uh, I'm probably just confused, but but um, it it obeys it, but it's probably just a, a strange representation. So. Here, the we can remove three. Well, it's also, it, as you're saying, it's also two um, D, right? So there's the X and the Y, and the Y um, for each, and there's also two bits, right? The X and the Y, which is in kind of yep. here. So, so one one would be X, but then since it's one hot encoded, it's 25 of them. And so X2 is Y, but then there's another 25. So there's 50 of them, but they're acting as if there's just one, one node in the graph. Even though we have 50 of them, there's 25 here and 25 here. And so all of these would connect to, um, so another thing was that, uh, in, I think in this paper, they said these, uh, numberings are, are done in random. So two, one, two, two, you could, you know, um, you can, you can do whatever you, um, whichever you want, um, but, or you could make it into a hyperparameter on how you designate how the data flows. Um, Yep, so um, yeah, but yeah, we have we have the mask here, and let's just um, assume that this this um, this it follows this pattern and it, it's masking the right thing. I think we probably have to look at it a little bit more, um, especially because this also comes in uh, pixel CNN how the masks are created. Um, okay. And so, um, so if, if we take all of that, then uh, I think we have the basic idea of the, the neural network. We have one, two, but there's 25 by 25. We know how it moves forward. We have the XY comes in, it gets one hot encoded, um, goes through the network, and then it um, gets turned into, um, um, the the output gets turned into a, a twenty five by two, and then that can be um, that can be done with the um, um, loss function. You can do a cross entropy, and then it will it will promote certain uh, certain values um, that that are high. So if if we see a certain number that occurs um, heavily, then uh, the probability should go up. Um, okay, right. So let's look at um, get distribution. So this happens at the end. So after all the training is done, this is the final one, the get distribution. And um, oh, 
what happened here? Okay. So it's done, it's done with this training and this is the output and it didn't stop at it because I probably have something else here. Okay, here. Um, so the, the question is, um, how, the output is, the output here is a, a 50 or 25 by two output. How do we create a whole distribution that is 625 pixels out of it? Um, and so what, what they've done here is, um, the first step is making a, a, a grid of every possible value in this in the um, in the picture. So x will just be um, this one. So you know zero 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 one zero two and so on. It has all the values in it. So um, and then they feed it through the to the network and then get the the problem the probabilities. So we have 625 values, and then we have 25 comma two. So each one has, um, for each each value we get um, um, a, a two, two vectors, each of size 20, 20, each of size 25 for X and Y. And so this is, uh, And here they, what they're doing here is, um, I, what I believe they're doing here is using this gather functions, which is kind of uh, complicated. Um, so taking, we have, um, we have 625 by two, I'm sorry, 625, we have 625 by 25 by two, but we only need one value, right? Because that, that's what the distribution, for, for each distribution, we just need one value, but we have 50 of them right now. Um, so what it's doing is it's going to the, um, if we have 50 of them, it will go to the X value of the first one and then the Y part of the second one and get that value. So out of the 50 values, it will pick one, one value to represent it. And then, uh, or maybe it's doing two, sorry, distribution is, yeah, it's it's doing two. So I I um it's it's picking the x and the y value together. And and then so it they sum it up, and then since they did the log softmax, they have to do an x because if they did softmax, um, it's it's the logarithm now. So they have to do the exponential and then they uh, change it to the view to be the uh, image size 25 by 25 and um, output the data. And so then we have the actual distribution. So from, from 50, from each output of 50, we can get a, a D by D image distribution of it. So, so that's that's how the distribution is calculated. Um, so, so here the here the the tricky thing here is that since the uh, the y value is dependent on the x, right? So uh, if if I um, when we do x and we have uh, uh, x when we put it through our neural network and we give it x, so the first first value. Um, so in this case, let's say um, zero, you know, zero, zero versus 24, 23. The first zero will give you a different uh, y, y distribution than 24 by 23, because the first um, second is dependent on the first one. Um, but so I, I was on this one, I was thinking that, well, does but does the second value matter? So we have zero, zero and zero, one. Are the distribution of zero, zero and zero, one different? Um, and um, yeah, blog props here. Uh, no, um, 
fx. So are they are they different or not? And um, and and turns out that they are not. Uh, okay. Okay, so this this is kind of um, so the answer as answer is in fx. So I'll just turn it into um, fx dot. Um, so we have to get it out of the GPU to the CPU, and then you have to do detach and then uh, numpy, and then so <laughs> just to get it into numpy, and then it shows up in the debugger, and then you can just look at it. Um, it as we can see the they're identical. So like um, zero, zero, 0, and 0, 1 gives you the same distribution, which kind of makes sense because it's only dependent on the first x and y, right? So I think after the 25th one, it will change. So, um, or 24th, 25th one, it will change. But besides that, they're all the same, right? So I, I can view it as an array here and so, this and then if we go to this one, it's exactly the same. So the first 25 are the same, which which kind of makes sense. Um, and then if we go to the 25th one, then it oh, 26th one, no 25th one, it changes a little bit, slight change. Um, so yeah, it, it is. So I I made a slightly different distribution um, and it doesn't so instead of doing taking everything 625 why don't we just only do um, 25 of them right because the, the x value is the only one that matters y value doesn't really matter so i did try that and then um, but it had it had its own problems but i can just show real quick um, and so let me just let it continue and finish. So this is the distribution it gives. Um, the learn distribution is it, we have the smiley. Um, I think the the yellow background isn't there. It's green because the yellow was zero and it never quite gets makes anything zero here. Uh, but if I set it to two, this is the distribution um, where we. Um, Get distribution. So in, instead of um, doing um, instead of doing um, yeah, uh, saying zero 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 one, we just say zero zero one one two two three three four four. It's yeah, it has a weird representation. So and then I do the fx and then um, the output. So it should be the predicted value is 25 by 25 by two. And I do the similar things, but then I, yeah, I, something gets messed up. So I have to do the NP dot sum. Uh, otherwise it won't sum to one. So um, yeah, I'm missing a step here or I'm not doing something right here. But anyway, so if, if we do this, then it looks slightly different. I think this is the original one and this is the, um, I still see the smiley face, but it's not quite uh, the same. But anyway, it's just something I noticed. But that's, I think that's that's all there is for part 2A. I uh, so think we couldn't figure out the mask part, but is there any questions or... Yep, that's good, thanks. Okay. I think the I was confused about the distribution part because like what what does that mean um, like what 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 is it actually that we're we're getting and how how do we consider a distribution I think that yeah, the trick um, uh, go ahead Finish. oh so, yeah so the the trick is you can put um, yeah so the the trick is for I think the trick is to get the loss function to 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 increase the probability of something that you know you see more often, so just with the um, with the cross entropy, so that uh, 
it, it will increase the probability of things you see more often. Um, and then and then have another have a way to convert that into a distribution we can see. Yeah, and so I'll, I'll look more into the mask part. I I, uh, I can I didn't review it. I thought we already had it figured out last time, but um, yeah. And so I yeah, it's I, I I really don't like the code that he uses it to do a mask. And if I wanted to add a layer, like if I wanted to add a second layer, this I don't think it's easy to expand this to add another mask. And um, so it's a little bit more uh, uh, hacky than it needs to be. I think it could have been simplified. It's just like there's a lot of stuff going on here and, uh, and it's, it's not expandable. So if I wanted to add another layer uh, instead of just having, um, having, you know, if I wanted to add another layer in there, so see if we can learn better, but it's just very hard to do. The, the masks here are kind of, uh, not not sure what's going on. How how to, how to do it? But anyway, okay. So um, that's that was part A, and um, um, what was uh, yeah. We can also do the Jeff Hinton picture. Okay. Have you tried uh, adding more layers, and you had problems with this kind of masking? No, I I couldn't figure out how to do it. I was. I was going to add some more, like uh, add more mask linears in, in here in the middle, but uh, the create mask was, um, there was, I believe there was something about, it was assuming that there was only one layer or there's some, something like that, but it, it does seem like it should work for any layers, but um, something was not working. Okay, because it seems like the code is designed to work with arbitrary number of layers, right? Yeah, it, it should, but it wasn't for me. So I can try that again. Um, and it wasn't evident what it was doing. So I think some of these could be um, could be simplified. And it, it gets confusing because there's 50 of them. and. Um, which one is connecting to what? Yeah, 50 is uh, like appears here only uh, after that repeat. You you see uh, that if one hot input yeah. and repeat. So masks are originally generated for uh, not one hot encoded input, which makes sense because we, we have like a single mask for all the access which are produced from the same like dimension in the image. So, and uh, yeah, basically this looks like what is described in the paper, right? So mm -hmm. we kind of uh, generate random integers here and then uh, setting masks to, to be one if, uh, this random integer is like uh, less than that in the next layer, right? Yeah. So, so this the same procedure is described in the made paper, I guess. So. And the last one is the same one, right? It's less than or equal to in all the layers, and in the last one, it has to be less than. So that perfectly mirrors the, the equations given. Yeah. So I, I, I wonder why doesn't it work for like general case? Hmm. Maybe I kind of messed up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's probably, and then if it's one hot in, input, then the mask is repeated and just made bigger, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the, the one hot uh, part. Uh, so, it, like to analyze those uh, pictures you were showing with trues yeah. and falses, you could uh, just set one hot input to false and it will produce 
as is uh, like uh, masks for ag actual inputs, like kind of connectivity masks. Uh, and that would be like just uh, easier to view those. Yeah. Oh, I already, this is too late. Okay. So let's see if I can go he here. And it, it, that's before the repeat stuff happens. Uh, if the masks are, um, no, it's already 50. So, so I, I guess there is uh, like a flag which uh, says if you should use one hot encoding in your model, and you probably can set that flag to false. Somewhere. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Um, and then um, we can look at it here, and the mask should still be nope. It's something still hundred. Um, yeah. It's some of the, the HN something is set here. Yeah, it should work with multiple layers. Um, L is one, uh, yeah, and IN is two. I don't know why. Oh, it's M, sorry, masks. No, it's masks. yeah. So, so ma masks are fixed now. So now you can see that uh, like input mask is two by one hundred, and the output mask is one hundred by two. Okay. It's, oh, instead it's instead of fifty. Okay. Yeah, it's and still there like intermediate uh, mask is all trues. Yeah, it's all trues here. And I, I guess we like uh, discussed it uh, in the previous session that it basically uh, this input and the output masks are enough for like for breaking the connect connectivity when we need to break it. So that's why our intermediate layer can be fully connect connected without any mask because uh, because we like disconnected the like one output we needed to disconnect uh, at the input layer. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing I was thinking of. Ato, to, the shouldn't one of the inputs be disconnected at the input layer from going to the next? Yeah. So that's that what happens here, right? So we have like. A fall, oh, false. that's this the input layer. Yeah, so in input layer has uh, all for all false in uh, for one, one for input one and all trues for input zero. So uh, basically, the input one is not connected to any of the neurons in the hidden layer, right? Yep. Okay. That's how output also is uh, false for zero and true for one. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, and the zero output is not connected to anything. So basically, we just learn uh, for for zero, we just learn a distribution, unconditional distribution, and then uh, the distribution of uh, output one is conditioned on zero, right? So that's yep. right. Out. In fact, uh, that's why I was thinking what you were saying, uh, Motim, for like you know, when you were looking at the distribution, um, I was a little bit confused because the distribution of one is dependent on zero. The distribution of zero is unconditional. Um, so I was a little bit confused when you said that, you know, why, uh, and I mean, we're using zero and one and X and Y interchangeably, but if we stick to X and Y, then our X is, unconditional on the output and y is conditional right so when you did this second distribution you were talking about y not varying but i thought y is conditional on x so i was a little bit confused about what you were oh i think uh, this this explains it explains it very well so you, the input x right this input x um produces an output. So whatever you put in Y, it doesn't matter. 
it never goes anywhere. So this second part means that this is all not connected to anything, right? So the second part of why doesn't matter. But it still implies that um, the, the output, so the output is why the output is is all based on uh, on on uh, the output is only y, but that output y is only comes from x. Right. So that y value okay. doesn't matter. Does that make sense? Here, so we put in x, then this gets propagated to the next level. We put in y, it 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 nothing happens. Uh, it's it's ignored, and in the last one. Um, whatever comes from zero, zero is ignored. It never is put into zero. Only, only the y, y part is output. So this is actually um, 100. So I, th I think, th so the thing is that the Y doesn't affect the output, but only X affects the output. And then the, um, so that's that's my thinking. It's just the way um, ah, okay. it has been set up. Yeah, so that, that statement that you give it, that the, what you're saying is, you know, Y is dependent on X, but Y in this autoregressive thing cannot depend on itself, right? So Y yep. is not dependent on Y. Yep. Y is only dependent on X. Yeah, so it, so when the output, we just look at what X is and we don't have to look at Y when we're calculating the distribution. Um, so instead of um, here in this case, I, um, like the, um, oh, where did we go? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Instead of making a grid of everything here, um, like zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three, we make, you know, I, I can just say zero, zero, uh, one, zero, or one, one, or just one for um, one of each of X, and Y can be anything. Yeah, it, it. I think it's just a. It's just an artifact of the the, the neural network. Yeah, it's just of this. Yeah, of the artifact the, of masking. Yeah. And autoregressive nature. Nature. Okay. Okay. So that that was, I think, question um, two part two a um, and um, yeah um, and we have the the second one also that. What puts it in this one is still going to do distribution to visualize the data. It's running through it. And yeah, it's a little bit bigger, so it takes a little bit longer. Oh, that didn't work very well. Oh, it's because the one in coding is set to false. Sorry. So yeah, we constrained it to to only um, two parameters. Um, but yeah, this is also using distribution too. So something about the the way I um, I collected it didn't work. So um, so that I have to it doesn't sum up to one. But here they don't have to do it. So I think it's this gather um, pattern. This something here, but it, it gives a basic idea of it. Um, okay, so let's we can move on to the part part B. I think, um, yeah. uh, so here, let's uh, look at the input and the output data, input on the, the yeah, the model and the output data. Uh, this is 
Oh, shoot, sorry. This is the shapes one, right? Not the intent. Uh, yep, yep. I, I kind of, uh, what is it? To be made. They ran the wrong one. This is the shape one. And then the, um, the input should be, so height and width is 20 by 20 pixels. So each picture is 20 by 20. Um, and um, the test data is um, 4,491, 1, 20 by 20. And then uh, train data is similar. So it's the input data is 1, 20 by 20. And uh, the network is the same here. So the input is 400. So that's 20 by 20. Um, and, and so we get 400. And the output is 800. And that's 20 by 20, but each pixel has can be um, uh, black or white. It's a, a binary um, binary picture. So and there's so that's why it's multiplied by two. And um, I think this shape is needed for um, to do the loss function again because um, you you have um, we have 20 by 20. 20 image, and then each one can be uh, zero or one. So we need um, the probability for zero and one for the the uh, loss function to work, or the cross entropy function to to work. Yeah, you could use binary cross entropy and uh, have 400 output. So uh, basically, okay. in in this way, it kind of over parameterize. So when you use cross entropy, you always have and Overparameterized output. So basically, yeah, there is kind of a redundancy in your outputs, but, but it uh, also is easily extendable to arbitrary number of classes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think yeah, I think that's why the structure is this way. But the input here is um, yeah. Um, this, that size, so um, one by 20 by 20. So, okay, so we can go into forward pass um, somewhere here. Uh, forward. Okay. Um, yep, so the input here is uh, 128 by one by 20 by 20, right? So, because 128 is our um, bat size. And then image size is 20 by 20. And then there's an extra dimension here. Um, yeah. And so the first thing is just it's flattened out so that x is 400, because that's what our uh, input neural network takes in. And so they put it inside the neural network, and then they change the shape back so that um, the logits are 128, 400 by 2. We'll get 800 out, but we'll will make it into um, 400 by two. And there is another of the, the permutation. Um, same here. So that's a, another thing that I'm not quite sure. So it, it does change the shape from. Um, Isn't it uh, there just like, as you're saying, it's just a matter of putting the two inside and then getting the 400 out and then the 400 is converted when you do star self dot input shape to 20 by 20. I think permute also changes the order, right? Um, yeah, so it, the earlier order is um, 402 and instead now you make it two 400 and two a batch size, then two, then 400 and the 400 can now be viewed as 20 by 20. Oh, oh, I see. I, I see. Okay, so you're, you're saying if we just do view, then the data gets all messed up. But if we permute and then view, then the data is actually in the right places. And the data is the way we want it, right? Because so it's batch size 128, self.d2, and then star self input shape, which is 20 by 20. Yep, yep. And so the, the answer that we get out of the forward is to match up the um, cross entropy work, uh, cr cross entropy requirement. So um, the answer is um, yeah, 
128 by 2, 2 by 1 by 20 by 20. So it's, um, so x, uh, sorry, the shape is already destroyed, uh, but x was 128 by 1 by 20 by 20. Output is 128 by 2, uh, answer here, so 128 to 120 by 20. So there's an extra dimension added for the for the binary, right? And so if we go to loss, um, yeah, and then x x is 128 1 by 20, and then the predictions are 128 2 by 1 by 20. And so we can put this in cross entropy and um, do the do the, and this will this will boost the pro probabilities that. Uh, that it sees more often. Okay, so it's it tend to be flattens things, I guess, right? Because if it has the additional dimension, it better flatten it out before comparison, before uh, computing the loss. So I guess I think it 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 looks at the one hard encode, it, um, and then it multiplies the probability. So we'll take the 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 probability of of this prediction. And if it says, well, I think one sh on this condition should be 0.85, and then it says, well, zero happened, so we'll, so that one will be zeroed out, and then the uh, the zero probability will be then added because x is just um, just just uh, yeah. No, I was uh, commenting on the dimensions mismatch. If you if I followed you correctly, you're saying predictions and the output. Uh, uh, well, the out. Uh, sorry, the inputs have an extra dimension, if you will. Yep. Or the outputs, I forget which one you are pointing to. Oh, uh, sorry. The the prediction is the um, the first one. So I don't know what what they call the first part. Um, yeah, the prediction. Input. Input. input yeah. So input and target. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, the terminology is because cross entropy is not, um, you can't switch around, right? Um, so yeah, so the first one is the, yeah, the predictions and that's the input. And then this is the, the target. This is the actual value, the truth, ground truth, or, uh, or yeah, the actual data. And so because they have the extra dimension too, I think it, it can do the, um, the, with a cross entropy, like a one hit, one like kind of like a one hot encoding, because there's only uh, zero or one. It's a binary picture. So, yeah, so the the data here is completely different than uh, well, somewhat different than the part A. So in part A, we had X, Y position. Here, we're actually giving a whole image and saying, okay, here, here's the whole image. And here's, here's where it's one and zero. Um, and kind of builds up a models to see if we can, if we can predict it. Predict the underlying, how, to, how, to, how this model is generated. So in, instead of a two, we get one by twenty by twenty, and it, it's um, yeah, and each each value has zero or one. Before we had twenty five values of x and y. But um, but I think if if we think about it as okay, what's the input and what's the output? So the input is is um, before it was x and y, and then the output was okay. What is the the probability um, of of the x x value and the y value? Um, what what is the distribution of those? Now we have here's a here's a picture. Give me the probability of each of the uh, the pixels. Okay. Yep. And so, so in, instead of like x having x and then getting the probability of the y, we have 
uh, each each pixel, then you have okay, here's this pixel, and here's the probability of that pixel after because of the pixel be before, and then the probability of that pixel before, you know, so and so on. So there's like a whole chain. Um, okay, and um, so here we don't get the distribution. We get what, what they do is a sample, um, and uh, because what we're trying to do is not calculate the distribution but we want to recreate, regenerate these images that, that we don't have. So we want to get the distribution and then, but we want to say, okay, I, I want to create a new one, new one from, uh, from, from this. Before we were happy with just say, let, what is the distribution? Uh, and, uh, but here we can't even look at the distribution anyway. There's like 400 different, um, distributions, right? So each one after the other, instead of a two-dimensional one, we'll have a 400-dimensional distribution or something like that. Um, so what we'll do is we'll generate some samples and see how, how they look. Right, okay. And so there's, so we can do sample or um, we also have the mask. So, um, And also take a look at the mask. The last time we looked at it, it was, um, uh, let's, let's look at the mask. So, um, so create mask. Thing. So the, the paper says that the, you can treat the mask as, um, as, as, a, as, as, as a hyperparameter. And some. So here, the there's a the masks are created at first one time. They also say that you can also just randomly generate the mask at each each training time. You just have random masks, and uh, you train. Or then the, you can also have uh, the masks stored beforehand, and then there are some good masks that you know are, are 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 good for your data, and then you just use those and then use it as a hyperparameter. But here they just. Um, randomly generate one and then stick with it for the um, so the create mask is only called in the um, in the constructor of MEAD. So once the mask is created, then um, I think it's it's all set. Okay, so th the masks are also the same uh, three of them. Um, so um, it it goes from four hundred to five one twelve. So we have four hundred inputs and it goes to five hundred and twelve. And two is a connection, and so yeah, so it's, it's random. So um, I don't know if you want to follow these. So there's an ordering, right? Masks, um, random self dot m. Um, so the first one, it just goes from zero to one hundred. I guess 100, 500, 400. Um, and in the second layer, it's randomized. So um, so zero would not be able to connect to, um, so zero could connect to itself, right? So the first one would be true for everything. Um, oh, it is false for some something after 323. It's true the other way. Okay, probably this way is the uh, five one twelve. It goes to five one twelve. So um, zero will connect to everything. One will connect to um, everything except zero, which you have to find zero here. So I don't know where it is out of the five hundred twelve. So it should probably have one place where it doesn't connect. Yep, here, and that's probably zero. 382 is probably zero. 382. Yeah, 382 is zero, so it can't connect. Does that, does that make sense? Because, yeah, so, so they randomize. So the, the first one is not randomized, so it's the same ordering. They have self-start ordering. 
And then the second one is yeah, random mind. So go yeah, ahead. The ordering was what was confusing and how they use it in the sampling. Um, the, and it seems like they use um, somewhere in the, but I guess you supply the ordering, right? Um, or they take it. So, yeah, so in, in the paper, they said you could supply the ordering from like uh, um, as a hyperparameter, or you can just generate it randomly. So here, 2, 1, 2, 2 is randomly generated. And they, they show the first one also a random, but I, I guess it doesn't need to be. I mean, there's there's no point of randomizing this one. It could just be 1, 2, 3. So here, they just say the, the first layer, negative 1, is just the same order um, as is the same order. But then the second and the third ones are randomized. And so they do the rand int from um, the smallest number, which is always zero, I guess, but um, uh, ML minus one, which is the, the previous one. And then, um, yeah. And so they, they randomize all the values of that's coming in from the previous layer. And so if if you're zero, then you can connect to everything, right? Because zero is the smallest value. Then one, you can connect to everything except zero. And then two, you can connect to everything except zero and one. And then, um, but they, they do say that you, you randomize it. And I think it's it's also ran, randomized with, with, I mean, it has to be uh, with replacement, right? Because the, 512 is bigger than um, 400. Hmm. Right, does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, and so that, that's what I was saying. So here 382 is zero in the second layer. So everything after one has to be false because you, you know, it cannot connect to it. So you have these and then we can probably figure out which, which one is two. Um, just mm -hmm. like that, because it would be the, uh, oh, I guess 286 yeah, is also, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's probably three, four or something like that, <laughs> 230. Yeah, I, I mean, you can get the idea, I guess, yeah, five yeah, and two. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so I think the mask here makes sense, uh, how, how it's connected or how it's not connected, um, okay. And so the so so um, so that's the only part left is the sam the how how to do the sample. Right. If you go back to the sample code for a minute, yeah. So then um, here they invert the ordering. This is the part that I was doing, and then use that. To do the logits, right? Is there what are Oops. they doing there, or what is it? I'm missing. Okay, uh, let me see. Let's get to that part. I don't. I the inv ordering is the same, I think, as the regular ordering. Um, yeah, it, no, it's just the flipping of i and x, right? Because it becomes x and i. So they just take the ordering that's done and flip it around. Uh, it's actually the same. It's oh. just, yeah, it's actually zero, zero to one, one. Nothing has changed. I don't know why they call it ordering. It's the same. Um, yeah, because it's, it's for I, it's. Uh, yeah, they just, the, I mean, it's the mapping is the same, right? But because I is just they're enumerating so it just goes zero and then x and then they from x it just points to i back again yep. so it's just that the mapping is different you go in one direction in ordering from i guess x to i uh sorry i to i mean the, the x values are increasing or not increasing the i value is ordinarily increasing, but the X value could be anything that you get from the ordering, right? And then yep. if it is 
sequential, then so be it. But when you flip it, then you go from uh, the I's are always sequential, but the X's may or may not be right. Yeah, I, I, all they're I think all they're doing is creating a like, as I said, the dictionary, right? So, but right. Uh, and since self dot ordering is just one two three zero one two three four, the first layer is just zero one two three four, so it doesn't matter. I think that's that's why. It, but if if we also randomize the first order, I think this code would would um, we would have something to, yeah different. But here it just said, Says one goes to zero goes to zero, one goes to one. Um, okay, so um, okay. yeah, okay. Um, so what sample does it? You you say, oh, I want one hundred samples. You know, make me one hundred pictures. I think that that's essentially the idea. It says, um, give me one hundred, and the output should be um, um, one hundred by four hundred, or um, I don't, yeah, one hundred by two. 20 by 20 or something, um, but that's that's uh, um, that's what what the output will be. Um, so so uh, how 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 are they? How is it done? So um, the the ordering is needed because um, because uh, so if we want to start, which is the first pixel sh should we start with? Then we need the first one from the ordering, right? Because that one is not dependent on any other. So we we start that one, and then. Um, once you choose the value, then we can go to the, okay, what's the second pixel? It's dependent on the first one that we um, here. And then, so we can go to the third pixel and generate the third pixel and the fourth pixel. So here we, um, uh, torch no grad, uh, this is just a, uh, so NIN is just a, um, 20 by 20, right? So it's the, the size of the uh, size of the image. So we'll go for for every pixel in the image. But we'll do all the pixels at the same time, but we have to go one pixel at a time, right? So because we generate the first pixel and then the second is dependent on the ones you previously generated, the third one is dependent on zero and one. So, um, okay. So so we we take samples, even though it's um, 100 by 400, I, um, yeah, it will do the prediction and then it will, it, it will make the, the prediction values. Um, and so right now we're, um, um, yeah, okay. So the print view is just, um, yeah, the, the output here is 100 by two by one by 20 by 20. The two is from, you know, the, the probabilities for zero and one, we get both of them, right? So that, that's from that forward pass before. Um, Okay, and so this is just changing the view. So instead of being 100 by, um, let's see, 100 by two by one by 20, so it's 100 by two by 400. Okay, and then um, logits is, um, it will just give 100, 100 by two. So we will say, okay, out of all the 100 images that we're generating, give me all the probabilities of the, um, the, the pixel that we're gonna generate. So the I is the, um, the range, and then the ordering is the, uh, the, the ordering that we created before. I mean, right now it's ordering is the same, but here we would say, okay, what's the first pixel or the ith pixel that, that, that we want? Because we know from I minus one to zero that they're all dependent. Um, so then we get the uh, logits from here. Um, we do the soft max. I mean, it's only two values, but um, right. So uh, each one has uh, has just a binary. So probs would just be two of them. So um, so logits. Here's logits. So um, we have these numbers, and then we just do a soft max of them. And it's, you know, this one says, um, this is tensor, sorry. Yeah, this one says point, point zero 0.09 and point 0.98. So it's like very likely that the first, you know, first pixel wants to be one. So if in all of them, they are all pretty similar. So here's the multi multinomial. It, it, this is binomial, right? So um, you just do a coin flip with a um, bias coin, right? So you say, 0.09 you get zero and then 0.9 you get one 
and you just say, okay, just flip a coin, the biased coin you get, then give me zero or ones. Um, I call it dist, it probably should be dist, but, um, oh, shoot. Uh, I, let me jump to here. Um, okay. So, Oh yeah, okay. So dist is, it should just give us one. So dist would be 100 by one, right? So that gives us the, the, the pixel that we want. Okay, out of all the 100 images, what was it? Zero or one, zero or one. Um, there's some zeros, but most of it was one, right? Um, and then um, we take that and update our samples and say, okay, of all the orderings, this is the one we got, put it back in there. And then, um, and then we, when then we do it again. Um, it, it's a little bit wasteful, right? Because we've just we've done all this calculation and we've thrown away like uh, we don't need most of it. But in the second one, we'll have okay. The 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 first one that we used in ordering zero, that will be used to create in ordering you know one pixel, and and so it goes and then we generate the next set of pixels. And then on the next loop, we'll have involving two and we'll use involving zero uh, and involving one pixels to generate the third one. Um, and then all, all, all of these, uh, the, the randomness is that we'll get different samples is because of this, of this multinomial. So this is still a, a, a coin flip, right? It will say, okay, which is gonna be the next pixel? So that that coin flip will determine um, will 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 we'll create the variance in in the image it generated, right? So if, if I let it go through here all the way here, um, and so the samples is um, <clears throat> one hundred by one by twenty by twenty. So it's the the shape it changed. So we have hundred 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 pictures of size one by twenty by twenty. And so, um, so we have we have like uh, uh, one hundred samples. We can look at it, uh, and here it is. Um, I mean, I, I guess it 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 learns some things that usually there's black in the middle, so this is the original, right? Um, and it kind of learns the star shape, kind of, and. Um, it makes a circle, yeah. But um, yeah, so, but we had, uh, let's say eight, 800, 800 parameters or 400 parameters to, uh, to, to model this um, set of uh, pictures. And these are the samples it created. Does that, um, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. It was good to see the dimensions of all of the variables because then it kind of begins to explain things. So I really like that you took us through that, through the debugger and that way it's easier to grasp what's going on. Yeah, it, it, this is uh, yeah, this is very interesting in the way that yeah, I you know how do, how do you generate samples? But there, you know, where is the actual randomness here? Like how how, how does that? Um, also, it makes the point um, that he covers in the lecture later on, right? That you also highlighted that a lot of calculation is thrown away. That's one. So you could potentially reuse that by caching and things like that. And the second point, which is the um, kind of the conditionality, that's another improvement, right? Because in this case, we independently through the multinomial sample all of the pixels, whereas the likelihood of pixel 35 being close to pixel 34 is high, and we don't use that. And that's another kind of improvement as we go along in this process. So that kind of becomes obvious when we are discussing this code. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, and so that's that's all I can also run the second one. Um, that has the MNIST. I think this takes a little bit longer to do. This is the MNIST one and and it's running for 20 epochs. So, um, okay, it's just going to be four steps. And so this is what it kind of learns. And the, um, yep, in the error, we could have stopped here at 12 or something, 13. And this you know, is not having the X and Y coordinates, it's pretty impressive that it's been able to learn as much as it did. Because it doesn't even know the X, Y coordinate thing. We haven't provided it, so it doesn't know like you know, the 20, whatever, 25th or 21st is below the zero and so on. Yep. Um, yeah, and some of these are kind of like, that's probably is the problem, it disintegrates because one wrong randomness caused <laughs> you know, everything to kind of disintegrate, but this 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 would not appear in the MNIST data set, right? These like, um, some of them are pretty bad. Yeah, some of them are bad. Okay, um, so I think we, we can go to Pixel CNN. Um, I, yeah, I haven't looked at that as much, so, um, but, Get started, Pixel CNN. Okay. And so this is the same data set as before. So I can quickly run it. Um, oh, oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Sorry. So um, we're, we're still using the, the same 20 by 20 image that we did before. And there's seven epochs. I lowered it down because I don't think it, it takes that long. Okay, um, so the first thing is the, the model here. And it's pretty it's pretty big. It's lots, lots and lots of layers. Um, and this is the um, generated output from this running through. And so it has uh, almost 19 layers of it. And most most of them, uh, the main one is here is the masscom 2D. So it's the 2D, um, the conv convolution version of the masking. Before we're just using um, linear connections. Uh, so the the mask mask will have a 2D idea, and then it will have um, it will have the the the, the, the spectral um, spectral view or what, what is it called? I forgot. Uh, you can have a two dimensional. Uh, view of what is going on. Okay. And so yeah, the here if I just go the, the data is the same as before. Right? The it's one by twenty by twenty is so much it's the same data being provided. Okay, it's just the pixel CNN that's different. Um, so the pixel CNN so this uh, I I should clean this up because um, this is the same code used for all the A, B, C, D. So there's a lot of things that um, um, that 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 will get skipped. Um, but the Pixel CNN uses um, called the the mask con 2D, and this is um, subclass from con 2D. So the the previous one was subclass from linear. So this one is from mask con 2D. Um, and it does similar things. So uh, I'll skip over some of the things. So here's the mask. This is the similar thing that we did to the to the mask, where we do a register buffer so that this is not uh, going to be affected by the. Um, uh, this is not going to be affected by the back propagation. And then. 
And the difference is that I think well, this is kind of confusing to me was that the masks are actually created in, inside here, given the type. Um, Okay, um, but but the idea here is that we are given um, input shape, number of layers, and then it creates it creates this stack. So so if we um, Do this again. So we look at it. Um, so in channel says one, but we're not doing color right now. So a all, all, lot of the stuff will be um, and will not be relevant. Um, so this conditional size is none and color conditioning is false. So this will also not matter. And we're not using res. Uh, residual blocks. So I think the residual blocks are the ones that have skip connections. Um, and so we're just using the mask on duty. Same size and number of filters and then padding and all of that. Okay, so the, the first thing is the module has a mask on duty, the first one. So you can see it should be here somewhere, model. Um, Okay, the model has a mask on 2D. So that's the first thing it does. And then uh, for how many layers we want, we said we want five layers. It will append because we don't have color, we will uh, append um, a, a layer normalization. So here we can see a layer norm got added. And then, uh, and then uh, it adds a ReLU and the block in it, block in it is the, the mask on 2D. So that's a ReLU and a mask on 2D. And it does it five times. So it's gone off the screen. Um, and then the last two is uh, a ReLU and a, and a mask on 2D and a ReLU and a mask on 2D. And so, so all of that is skipped over. And so if if we look at it, the model is this one. So it's the last ones without the padding. And these are the ones that, that were uh, repeated five times. One, two, three, four, five. OK. Um, yeah, so apart from that, um, I think the, um, the let's look at the forward pass. So uh, the layer norm is used here because we cannot use batch, like in convolutional net, the batch norms are, are usually used, but here we cannot use those because it will introduce kind of leakage, right? So, right. so the informa information from uh, like future pixels could leak into the previous pixels if we use a batch norm, right? Is it right? I, I don't know. I, I should look at the paper. I didn't say anything about the mask here. I, I, I would think the mask would take care of it, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought this was only for some sort of color conditioning that they use the their own specialized one instead of using the 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 standard layer norm, but I'm 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 not sure about that. I have to uh, go read the paper in more detail. Yeah, I can I can try to answer that next time. See if there's anything mentioned. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I I I'm, I don't have I don't know much about yeah the the C CNNs. Um, okay, so where was, oh yeah, the forward propagation, let's go to that one, so. So yeah, the 
the data is the same, right? So um, X is 128 by 1 by 20 by 20. And um, we flatten it out. Um, and because they have to send the con conditional for, for, for problem in the future, it, it, instead of just doing self dot out, there's a um, there's a, a four for each layer. So yeah, you can just skip to this one. So here the output here is um, 128 by two by two by two by 20. So just like before, uh, our input x one by twenty now gets a two by twenty. It has the the, the same um, same parameters as before. Like you have the the binary um, one or zero. There's an added dimension. It become, becomes two. And um, oh, sorry, one question. Um, in the forward, that are they just normalizing in that out equals x float minus one point five point five? Oh, this one is for color. Second line. The this second one. line. Yeah, this one, right? This one is for color, I think. Yeah. It, it doesn't do anything I th in our case because um, two becomes one, and then this becomes 0 0.5. 0 0.5 cancels out and uh, doesn't do anything, it, at least in this in this one. But it, it's only for colors. So if we have more colors, I think they, they have to normalize it to something. Oh, they, yeah, divide by three, if it, we can, uh, three minus two, minus five is 1.5, five will be three. They uh, yeah, the colors, five. colors will have to go up by, I think it's eight bit color or four bit color. So it'll be either two color or eight color or 16 colors and then, and I, I think they have to normalize by it. Yeah, it is in normalize, it is dividing by the number colors, the X in. Okay, got it. Thanks. Okay, and yeah, it's just the same uh, similar process here, right? So the um, the 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 um, the cross entropy is similar. Um, you take s um, the, the the binary and then the long value. Um, sorry, the, the x value and then the self dot x, and then you'll get the cross entropy from it, just like we did in part two b. And then sample is almost the same. Uh, there's yeah this color channel, so we have to ignore that. But it it's um, going through x and y. And um, and so it, it's going from left to right to to generate the, the pixels. The height and the width. Height and width. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> yep. Height and the width, and then it's um, generating the pixels, and it's still doing the multinomial. Um, this this part is the same. Okay. So I think this one part that's left is the the uh, masks, which I couldn't. Uh, I wasn't sure what they were doing. So um, uh, here at the end, they do a create mask. OK. Um, um, so this is called in the constructor. So all the masks are created at once. Um, so. And so if I look at the uh, the mask here, then they all are the, the same shape. So I'm not sure what is going on. So if I look at every one of them, they're all pretty much the same. Yeah, see, the mask in this be explained, right? Because it's when you look at the 2D. By the way, the link state um, yesterday, I think it will kind of take you through the yeah, back. I thought was um, more information or details. So people are interested to get the uh, one is a tutorial and this couple of blocks. And basically, 
the way seems even the mass is to the right pixel where this begins below it is everything it is allowed to the left of it is but everything below it has, which is what pixel and does right it masks every to the right and below the so the pixel if you will yeah so if you look at three and three at three and three x and y axis with then everything it and everything to the right is masked from thing but everything and everything to the left is allowed to influence yeah um, so it's just strange that all the masks are the same so i thought they would have a different uh, arrays of masks so they must be using masks some other way because they're all the same mm -hmm. uh, so, okay. if, so if i if i go to this other one that got created it's also the same like if i go to another one uh yeah, it's the same <laughs> It's slightly different as there are like the masks of type type A for the first layer, which uh, have the central pixel masked out. And uh, for the intermediate layers, the central pixel is uh, is not masked. Okay, so let me redo that again. Yeah. Otherwise, those are the same. And uh, but if you think of it, uh, it makes sense. As uh, basically, what we want to achieve is uh, uh, the fact that uh, any of the pixels that come after the pixel of interest uh, are like are not. Are not uh, or like all the pixels that come before the pixel of interest are not conditioned on that particular pixel. And in CNN case, uh, this is achieved by this kind of like sequential mask, we can say. And uh, yeah, as it's uh, pretty different from what what we have in case of fully connected network, but. Uh, uh, if if you just uh, think about the connectivity pattern here, uh, I think that uh, yeah, all the only the pixels that come after the pixel of interest are conditioned on it, and uh, yeah, so so the pixels here pixel here in the center is not conditioned uh, on any pixels that are after it, right? And that that will kind of uh, Propagate through layers so that uh, the receptive field of this central pixel is only like to the left and above it, not to the right and below. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. No. Type A, type B is the difference whether you master and whether you don't. The type B, which I think you, I forget which, but I think it. A, you mask, and in type B, don't mask. So what I have on the screen is uh, type because it's allowing the pixel to go. Because if you look at three, then it's a. Whereas if you go back to your original ones, then Ato was commenting that it has zero meaning blue thing at the T when I was commenting. A type again uh, that. The type A would okay. not allow the pixel to look well. So the first of the convolution will be a type A because it allows the center pixel to pick itself and then else is type B. Okay. Yeah, and I, I think this filter is used, uh, I'm sorry, the mask here is used in the forward. So um, the con 2D, the weights are multiplied by the mask here. Right. Um, yeah, so, so all the all... others be the same. That explains as I to um, give a good explanation. What you what is correct that all font mass will, you know, all of the rest will be of type B. First one will be which would 
the mark. The center pixel will be type B, the one right, which is on the screen right now. Okay, yeah, and then this this would be slide, you know, you would slide this around, right? This, this, um, us, this mask. The sliding around on the receptive as you keep going through the con layers down through the network. Because your receptive, as it grows, then begins to include the off on your the pixels on top. and that's where I think in blog uh, not the blog that that I posted as a visual in bit by bit of the receptive field which is and how that effect happens or what it looks like uh, the Tutorial link that I post he has a nice visual of it. Uh, yeah, I th I think we're uh, almost out of time. So uh, do you, I think it's a good good place to stop. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, uh, noting for 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 next week, um, I can finish up um, this part. Uh, question number three. The pixel CNN stuff uh, that we're doing. Oh, sorry, I'm scrolling. This yeah, one. there are like different variant pixel CNN, and finish that, and we can that up. And then um, I know, just FYI, um, the lab has more uh, implementation. Skip the one that we have already looked. Is pixels portions, but still stuff that we have like RNN, uh, the WaveNet, and then attention base, and then he gets into the hierarchy and sampling are uh, additional stuff. So I think um, it'd be good if we can pixel CNN part, take all the different, parts, and then uh, we can take a cup, go through the collab. Note. Okay, okay, that that sounds yeah, that sounds good. I can um, clean up this so that we're not using the same one for everything, and it's getting confusing. So that's what I plan to do next is so that each problem is um, can can we can um, go through it more easily. But I think that there are similar ideas, just small small variations. Yeah. Just minor so, variations. On the basic ideas. Be easy. Um, good. Thanks. For that was really good to go through it. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next week then. Thanks. If there's any, if there are no other questions or any comments. No, thanks, bye. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, next bye. Week. Thanks. See you next then. week. Bye. bye.